Right, so we currently have uh, Osaya live with us. Uh, their latest album, Loss, is is out now via Unique Leader Records. Got 25,000 monthly listeners. That's quite an amount of people. Uh, how are you guys doing? Oh, all right. Nice. Doing all right. Correct. Yeah, it's 26,000. <laughs> <That's 25. laughs> I'm just I hear Andy's the best at this game. Is that true? No, oh, it's a fuck. Ah, oh, he is, <laughs> eh? He is, eh? Be best at using cheat codes. Uh, <laughs> Andy's got Ian Bot, like. <laughs> I was gonna uh, say. Give us, like, two seconds. I'm just loading up me Cronus. <laughs> and then I'll be on. <laughs> he's playing in VR. That's what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> actually, playing fucking Warzone in VR would be sick. Fuck. It would be sick, but you would just, you'd just chunder absolutely everywhere, wouldn't you? I was going to say it'd be sick, like, definitely. Yeah, I'd pull my back out, Carol, and like, <laughs> imagine someone coming at you, you're like, oh, God, did it! Pull your quick, back out. Quick, go prone! Fuck my back! Uh, -huh. uh, Andy, what the hell is your character wearing? Jaggy the Egyptian. Oh, sick, I was gonna say, there's just black and gold. So... <laughs> <laughs> and then the. Uh, no, no, the. the... My skin, did you say? Fuck no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, it's off Vanguard if you <laughs> unlock all the uh, other groups. Me, that one. Right, I see. Mate, you can't be asking about someone's skin these days. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And cancelled. <laughs> as, as a mere beginner, what can you guys give me as advice other than being your uh, your cannon fodder? Stand behind Andy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, Andy. I was going to say, if we start entering buildings, you go first and tell us what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dicky is the place to be. Yeah, drop so down here. Okay, uh, wait, uh, Ricky's the squad yeah. leader. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what Press the button is. Oh, no. Press what? Space bar. No, space no, no. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, we're getting out. <laughs> I'm looking at you, scream. <laughs> oh, fuck, there's a lot of people here. Got a yeah, box. Joe's all the way at fucking security area. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realise you guys actually deployed all, all individually as well. Yeah. And I'm down. Like oh, it's not, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's not like uh, Apex, uh, where he's all done well the same man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 See, this is a new thing for me. I didn't actually realise that was the case. So, yeah, I just got absolutely rinsed. can skip that. Yeah. I'm starting the stream yeah, from yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was just a... Uh, that, that was just a warm-up. That was just a warm-up, uh, warm yeah. Also, oh, Andy, what what the fuck was that you said in chat earlier? Was Munitions it box? Wa Wazza or wa Waxer? What the fuck was that? Waxer. 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 Yeah. I, he said uh, <laughs> something, and I was like, oh, Waxer, mate. And he was like, what? I, I, was, I, was I, like, I said, oh, I said to him, oh. I said to him, is... is <laughs> Is, is, I said, is that Geordie or am I just too dumb right now? And he was like, no, no, there's, there's going to be a few things I'm going to need to explain. It's like, I was like, it? It's from Kevin and Perry from the 90s. See where they are. We've got helicopters coming in. It'll be Ryan M on Nightmares. Helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean my baggage is overweight? <laughs> <laughs> I just crushed. Oh. I tried to crush. Sorry. I'm just down. Down, yeah, mate. Just so everyone in chat is aware, the uh, the questions will start. The interview will start about half an hour, so we're just going to get warm in this game first. See how this game yes, goes. The time is. Um, That's for everyone in chat, not you guys. <laughs> you, I, you guys will answer when you're questioned. Uh, <laughs> also, when, up, when I want to. So Excuse me, we are the rock stars here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I absolutely love the uh, the voices they have to use in this game. Contact on the roof. Oh, you got something uh, hard, like. I'm Ross Kemp. <laughs> You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> Ross Kemp on dance. Oh, right. <laughs> Have you seen the one where he uh, gets started on by the actual like gangsters and that? No, yeah, I haven't. Yeah. Fuck, mate. It's all good. He's, uh, I'm sure one of them's got a gun, yeah, right. and he's just like, you fucking pointing that gun at me, are you? You fucking <laughs> gonna use that gun on me, are you? And the guy's oh, no. like, uh, maybe not, actually. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, he actually like, passed his speech check on him. Aye. <laughs> the fuck have I got? I've got a fucking shit. Uh, I've got a big someone one, pushing yeah. over. Right. Oh, no, it's Joe. It. Yeah, Joe, get that. Get that. Sawyer. Sawyer. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got... yeah. Oh. Where the fuck? What? Fuck, Joe. I'm blind man! Fucking blind man! Oh, my God. I, I stared I, I stared straight at the fuck I need no wrong person heal him Oh fuck hell 
Jeez. Yeah, you have not played this game at all, have you? <laughs> I, I did tell you. I did tell you. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it now and I'm like, whoa. Yeah, do, 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 I can't remember that... see the chat on Twitch. Like... Do, do you remember that part where I was like, yeah, hey, so yeah, I haven't actually played this? Do you remember that bit? <laughs> ah, you'll be fine, man. Don't worry about it. Right. Hey. Oh, just... Fuck it out. You should be able to do it in pre -log. Yeah, there is there is a little bit that I can do in there. Also, don't don't forget that um, because you're watching the Twitch stream, you're about 15, 20 seconds behind. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, right. Yeah. So, is it if that's anyone like commenting on your gameplay, like by the time you said it, you've already like, I've already died. It. Look, I've, <laughs> I, I've already oh, made right. up for it or completely fucking died. So, like, it's you know, it doesn't change a thing. Mick, yeah, don't go in that room. Oh no, man! Oh, I, I know it's just well today. I think he's got fucking motion blur on in your yeah. graphic settings. So yeah, you also want to like, turn off uh, that anti-aliasing <laughs> and uh, you want to put the uh, spectrum rating on uh, four times, mate, and disable the uh, film grain. I'll put the uh, scope, someone. <laughs> yeah, your frame rate to oh, 60. 12. No, no higher than 60. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh, what? Lovely. Oh, okay. oh shit, run. Yep. Oh, oh fuck! What the hell? Emergency pork pie. Come on. <laughs> Deploying emergency port pie! <laughs> nice. oh, no, no, no. Where the hell is he? Got him. Got him. Right, looks so good. Oh my right, god. Hit. Hitting this one behind every time. Oh. It's crazy. Oh, no. oh my god. And reload and put you down. There we go. Lovely. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, that's cool. Handled. <laughs> right. like that's it was nothing. That's going right, to that, be in default Titties. one. Don't worry. <laughs> there we yeah, go. Yeah, take that good. Oh fucking hell. There we go. You put thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Press the wrong fucking button. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I've got one where it, it starts fucking flipping you off. Where the, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> where the fuck are you? And ah, uh, there's a flip off. Oh, Thank you very much. <laughs> one hiding in the oh. fucking bushes. Right. Yeah, you don't. Oh, have just any outside the window. Just outside the window as well. Put on plates on. Downed. Ooh. Get on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> kills oh, one. Right kills one person. <laughs> hey, I'm just supporting him through all of his challenges, oh, mate. I... To anyone who's uh, oh. listening to this stream, our voices aren't normally this high. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was one turned into a little fucking pube boy, did it? Boys. Oh man, man, give me dinner. Oh, so I hear 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Wales song, I done. Did you see that? I marked his fucking grenade when he fell out. Oh, the window. Oh, God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, hang on it. So, you literally went, that's a grenade, that. Yeah, as it, as after he pulled the pin, he's going to you. Pointed at it as it was coming towards his piastre. That's a grenade, that. Fucking I, I, I don't know if you see right. that. That's a, that's a fucking grenade. Back. Joe, don't go in there, don't go in there. Ah, don't go, right. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. All the way. Turn around. Do. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> Tune in at 7 o'clock to hear all science here. Jesus fucking Christ a lot. Is that you shooting people who are inactive? <laughs> Get that kid up. Yeah, man, it's like going hunting. You shoot the eggs in the nest, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Real hunting. <laughs> Killing off that family tree. <laughs> so now, yeah, uh, fly. Oh, I love Metallica. Fucking, okay. was that? I just get a half in it. Uh, yeah, I yeah, do real hunting. Shoot the shoot eggs. eggs the babies. <laughs> <laughs> just head filled with a bloody big gun. <laughs> yeah, <I'm good>. yeah. <laughs> Won't talk about uh, politics or anything like that, but we'll shoot an egg in a nest. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you guys have been with, um, you've been working with Unique Leader now for nearly three years. You're coming to your th uh, wow. third anniversary. Yeah, March, oh, no. how's, how, how's that been going for you so far? Mm hmm How do you know it's mine? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Just, mm -hmm. you know, Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. I know. Hey, good, mate. We, we worked with him on, uh, um, worked with Jamie on Terra Firma as well, because he was with yeah. uh, Siege Music. So this was like the transition, staying with him sort of thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so I guess... The entire like professional period of Osaya has pretty much been with him, you know, yeah, man. backing us. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, it's yeah. if moving forward, it's you know, 
we're quite loyal when it comes to shit like that, mate. Like, I work with, like, Loki films and stuff like that. That's right, yeah. Like, yeah. Loki films, yeah. He's, well, yeah, he does some absolutely yeah. great shit that I've seen him come out with these days. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's the boss, mate. Yeah. Ah, he's the man, like. It also, like, is, like, you know, he, he, like, can push us, like, how we'd push each other in our friendship group as well. Like, we're not allowed oh, to tell he's, you, he's like, mean, like. Hey, like... Me. <laughs> Who's this? Is this, uh, Sean, right. you say? Ah, you be like, oh, that's, yeah. that, that was really good, now can you do it, like, properly? <laughs> can you actually yeah, do it good? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My, uh, but if you've ever been recorded oh, by dude. Andy, it's uh, you know, like, you know it's from okay. a place to look, don't you, mate? Yeah, yeah I'm, that, yeah. I'm not going to have that shit take right? on record. <laughs> oh, you're all <laughs> People will attack the piss out of you, mate, if you fucking went on like that. <laughs> I'd, uh... <laughs> all right, I'll wind my neck in and do it better then, sorry. <laughs> I'd, I'd <laughs> same, sorry. I had the same thing from a bassist the other day. His exact words for words were, can you do that, just not shit? Nice. Yeah. That's like the most <laughs> legit that, like, yeah. yeah. The polar right, opposite fucking... is when someone goes, Oh, mate, when you did that, it was just. Oh. And you're like, Yep, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, perfectly yeah, yeah. explained, mate. That's the polarizer <laughs> of that one. So when we, we did. Uh, of people in the air. <laughs> when we did Lost, there was a bit. Uh, everyone was not in the recording room, so I was just recording little bits that I thought could be better. Yeah. Just like open notes and stuff. And then uh, Carl came in, and he was just like, "Was me bass not good?" And I was like, "And I was like, no, mate, it's just like, he did <laughs> hold it all the note." <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, oh, "Okay." And I was like, "Oh mm -hmm. no, like, I, I like, I, yeah." Yeah, mate. Doesn't he uh, need time stretching in Osiris so something? If it's nine yeah. seconds long, it needs to be ten seconds. You do it again. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Doesn't I know. Go over the grid line. You, yeah, you're doing it again. Have you guys? Have you guys had that same thing where uh, if you ever shoot with a music video and uh, you go absolutely ham on that first take, you're like, I'm gonna go as hard as I can on this take, just so yeah. I look like, so I look oh cool. no, mate, we learned that lesson well. And Jesus then, Christ. yeah, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then, and then, yeah. and then, like they go to, yeah, we're gonna need to do about thirty takes of this, and you're gonna need to go like that on every single one. Then you just feel your back go, why, <laughs> why? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did some music videos. With... Yeah. I was gonna, yeah, when we first worked with Loki, it was just like, right, when hard first time, oh, he's like, God. right, another 10 times. I was like, on. fucking joking. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so two <laughs> things. That fucking first one, that defrauding of God, we did it with a Jenny oh. in the building with no air conditioning. Oh. So while we were going ham, we were giving ourselves like carbon fucking monoxide poisoning. Oh my God. So we're oh, throwing, like... throwing our bodies to the ground, breathing in basically exhaust fumes. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're like, I was like, obviously I'm doing my vocals and be like, <gasps> All of us? All of us? <laughs> like, I want like, oh, hey. we'll go out for a drink afterwards and stuff. And I just went to sleep. I was like, I, I need to go to sleep. I've, I like, was all woke weird up as fuck. Fucked, proper, I was like, we all woke up. Over, yeah. Like, oh, I, right, one second. Off and fuck just like stop yourself. Off. My Xbox has just reset. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. Oh. Um, and after that video shoot, I was like, I'm just really tired, went to sleep, and I felt like I slept for like seven years or something. Yeah, I was just like, we had... what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. yeah. God, ET UK are in chat, by the way. Hey, nice, boys. Oh, hey. <laughs> they, say, Hello, they say, they say, hey, boys. <laughs> I was gonna say one one that I had with Loki the first time we did a film with him we had it was a black and white vi video we did that typical trick of using um, uh, treacle to look like blood after about I don't know like two hours of eating like an entire jar or tin full of like treacle you're talking to me here like I don't oh. know where this is coming from yeah I, exactly I, and, yeah. and, and then, like you know that you you wake up like three days later after you've had a diabetic coma you know <laughs> it's just like all your energy <laughs> yeah. levels have just collapsed <laughs> the human animals yeah, cool, fucking man. shoot was done with the with the treacle. That's it. And I was like, I was choking it down, doing the stuff over and over again. And it was like, obviously, absorbing from my gums. And I was getting That's fucking it. absolute sugar high, like, during it. And I was probably wiping myself out. And when I had to drive home, I was crashing the fuck. Yeah. It was uh, yeah. crazy. It's, it's amazing but, how yeah, that can happen, horrible. isn't it? Joining you. I was going to say, with, with the, uh, also with the latest album, um, was it actually created in the same way that all your other previous albums were? Like, you know, with, you know, member changes and COVID affecting things. Like, how, how have you been able to organize, like, just uh, recording it in general? It was pretty much the same, apart from I think the only difference was Andy went to Keepin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like rather he than did every time, really. Yeah, but like I you lived, you tried. lived like in the north. <laughs> like so Andy had to go down to London this time rather than just coming out of my gaff. Like so, <laughs> fucking well, our gaff at the time of Kingdom of Lies we were all there, weren't we? Yeah, exactly. I. Yeah. Mm. 
I think the only difference recording wise is we took two weeks to do the guitars and bass. Mm-hmm. Um, Robin, Robin and three years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, me and Keeping work, we know work together, so Terrific was done in a week, and then Kingdom of Lies was done in four days. Yeah. And then uh, Lost was done over two weeks. So I think next time it'll just be just me and Keeping again, because, like, work really quick together. Yeah. Um, but that's the, literally the. Then the same crack as the drums. Well, for Kingdom of Lies, the drums were recorded first. Yeah. And then the guitars were after. But obviously, the I mean, guys, um, but, I mean, yeah, pre pro was all done before this, just in case. Yeah. You're not yeah, thinking yeah. That, like, yeah. yeah. And he goes yeah, down yeah. and just goes, right, write an album now. And Keith was like, all right, you know how to work as me. It's done it anymore. Write an album now, you scrubs. <laughs> oh, okay, sir. <laughs> I think pre really helped on the loss this time, but we did yeah. pre pro for. Kingdom of Lies as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think the only difference from last one to this time is probably just me and keeping. But I, I, we haven't planned yeah. ahead so far, so I haven't discussed it yet. Because the, uh, the, uh, the uh, I was say the drums are, are live drums, I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah uh, uh, b- b- both the previous albums done with uh, Noah as well. Like... No, no, no. no that's the what the last album noise. was. Yeah. The, the last previous drum. Yeah, but he yeah. left. Yeah. Um, and then we have got Noah in, who had to basically like learn all the drums to be ready as like the touring member of that album. Yep. And then became the recording member of like this album for like the touring party of this album. Yeah. So he is like frequently like associated with both records. Gonna... You know what I mean. Yeah, but I was going to say if yeah. we look in the album notes, I, I'm sure Rob. Yeah, put we it did for put it. in the yeah. Right, okay, yeah, it makes it fair if you put in all the work for it. I mean, if at the end of the day he disappeared, but he uh, did it at the end of the day. If, if he did it, yeah, it should be credited, obviously. Just uh, <laughs> <laughs> only just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. You just say. Yeah, he was great, man. I was going to say, how do you guys like organize like things like practice and shit like that? As you guys are all over the country. We just usually do just a couple of days before a run. That, uh, yeah, just, yeah, it's meet up for a bit. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Two days before a run, and then we. Oh, we'll click it. It used to. It used practice, to be so... one day before run, but now because yeah. the music's it's kind of so long now, apart. Like... <laughs> 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 uh, the last run was one. Too. <laughs> I, the last run was one day because the first day we locked out the practice room and I got locksmith in. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, for fuck's God. sake. <laughs> yeah, so we spent half the night watching the locksmith trying to open the door. <laughs> and we'll see. Uh, also, this is your um, uh, new lineup as well. How is it currently settling in? Because uh, your, ba- your bassist, uh, he goes online by the name Kroll, but I'm guessing that's. Uh, it's a... <laughs> yeah, his full name is Kroll Bondeville. <laughs> no, Bond, 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 Bond. <laughs> <laughs> no, his name's Carl. Yeah, yeah I, I, assume, I assumed as much. And they'll say, because he was he originally in the band? Uh, I was the original. Uh, bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, guitarist for a bit, and then uh, he did bassist. bassist. Yeah, guitarist, yeah. then bassist, and then back to bassist Bass again. again. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. And uh, so this current lineup, how's it feeling now that it's like settled in a little bit? Well, oh, it's someday. it's instrumentally our strongest, you know. I, I don't <laughs> it's feel absolutely dreadful. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> sometimes, the biggest yeah. thing, to be fair, is having Andy on guitar. Yeah, I yeah. Uh, so yeah I was, Andy, Andy's yeah. always been a guitarist. Like he just played bass because we're like, oh, like we need a bassist. Just, you know, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's sick. So he's just bought a bass. He rips some cut off. He rips some cut off for a class bass. Oh, yeah, uh, he's just got a little fucking scratch at this. Like, I'm going to have to knock 200 quid off. Oh, um, but that was, it was fucking absolute steel. I was going to uh, walk out of there paying more than 200, right? I was going to say, like, <laughs> if, 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 it's, if it's also the 200 that the person needs in general, then that's this money to them. They don't know the value of what they have. I mean, if, if, yeah, if they need that 200 as well, it helps out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill them to come back and attack the money back off them. <laughs> he had a grand bass and he was like, oh, I just want 200 for it because it's got a chip on the back. And I was like, are you, are you, are you being for real? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, right, I'll have it. And he was like, do you want to play it? And I was like, all right. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, I reckon it'll like, be yeah, fine. 
Enough of that stupid guy. Let's talk more about me. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for which one of you were going to say that. I was like, it's going to be oh, the God. Oh, God. Oh, said it yesterday. <laughs> that was amazing what he did yesterday, Kevin. It was fucking perfect timing. Like... I was silent for ages and he was out of the gym and that was good. Ah, I agree. Come talk about me now. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't, kid. So, do you I want know? to talk about it now? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, how are you doing, mate? How's things? <laughs> I'm alright. I'm a bit warm. Yeah. I'm sitting here. Is, you, is your poo still green? No, so mate. Clear up. Okay. <gasps> what? I'm regular now. <laughs> can I have some? Uh, can oh, can we have some information on this? What the fuck? Uh, oh, I was just I was fucking shot from shit prison. piss. All oh, right. Oh, me. I just not much to talk about. I just had a shit. So I have no idea why. Oh, oh fucking you know. bright green, so oh. we spent about half an hour and then we oh. shot like discussing oh. it. Shades of green, aye. <sighs> Fifty Shades of Green, Wait. read by Chris Keevan. Today we're at Moss Green. It was camo green, like we got your pants in it. Aye. <laughs> Wait, camo green, that's multiple shades of green there. <laughs> well, yeah, it was like, you know, the thicker bits are a bit darker, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> 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 We're in a world full of uh, bands with drop tune guitars, breakdowns, blast beats. How do you guys manage to stay fresh? Um, um, we don't um, <laughs> listen to that stuff. You're doing, you're, doing, you're doing something. You're doing something, right? <laughs> we don't listen to it, so we don't know. We're just carving our own fucking path, mate. I don't know if that's the way I say it. I don't know if the lads think differently. Uh, I sort I of, I. Listen to the Cavitator and <clears> all the death metal bands again. How do they play that? And then I'll go, Bray, how can I do that in G Shop? I drop G Shop. It is funny, mate, because, like, like, you know. We you, used to do I, it. Yeah. Like, I, we used to fucking do all that shit, and then it got really popular, and it was like, right, everyone, everyone's doing it now, and someone's always going to be, like, heavier than you. Yeah, like, yeah. By yeah. Heavy, yeah. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> oh, they're lower, they're slower, that sort of thing. It's like it got so, to the point where, where we were doing like the double drop D sharp stuff and doing like the vocals that we're doing stuff, and then the band yeah. would come out and double drop fucking C or something, <laughs> and all the vocals would just be like, yeah, and like okay, you can't understand a word he's saying, but it sounds yeah. heavier. And we <laughs> never that that's kind of for me past that bit of what Osiah was about. You know, we yeah. didn't ever want to be like that noisy fucking thing. We've always had like yeah. an attitude of being technically like advantageous on every project so on every album we try to be technically more proficient or try and be better than we were before or like yeah like try and improve it. and it's just been like a natural progression of what we do you know what i mean rather than me, listening to a band and but for me it was more like when I, like what do i think is heavy and i listen to a band like thy art thy art for a perfect example yep you were like that riff is heavy as fuck and it'll be like a fucking groove based just class yeah. riff and I'm like, that's, like what, that's heavy. Everyone, well, sound, uh, you'll listen to a bunch of bands and they'll all, you'll be like, who's that? Got no idea. They're all double, double drop N. Yeah. <laughs> five BPM. And you're like, I've no idea. Someone going over it, fucking yeah. zombie shit. Nine, nine like, string guitar no plays one string. Yeah. Mm. Whereas if you write a fucking sick riff, you wrote that and that's your riff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because one thing that I love. Come up with anything like that. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, that's my, cool. My thing is like, I don't hate any of them bands. I think like, no, no. I love some of them. Yeah. Like, uh, but like, I've always been like, the songs always heavy by like how you articulate the riff. Yeah. Yeah. A, yeah, a, he a, a, a heavy. Yeah. A heavy song does not equal low tuning. No. Yeah, like, Mate, if everyone's you go seen in yeah. your fucking chat like A standard. I was like, yeah, like look yeah. at Silosis. Yep. Uh, They're in East Standard. In stamping Spain. ground, mate. <laughs> uh, stamping ground were heavy as fuck. And I remember watching them tune up on stage and he was using the fifth fret of tune. And I was like, huh, what a loser. Being in standard <laughs> tuning. And then they were just like, what right, you fucks? <laughs> and I was just like, and it was like the heaviest thing I'd ever fucking seen. Yeah, because it was, was like, uh, for, for me, one of the heavy. manipulation and stuff for fucking yeah. heaviness rather than just yeah. being like, oh, this is heavy because it ha it it's formulated to be heavy like break down in this tune and at this tempo with this gut roll over the top that's a perfect formulation for being heavy but going from like a 270 oh. like formulated riff which you're actually proud of to a drop like yeah. immediately like as a shock factor i think that's always going to be heavier so like yeah you know 
don't yeah. know. Because for, for me, one of the heaviest <laughs> one of the heaviest <laughs> bands is still Despised Icon. I'm pretty sure they use B as the tuning. Yeah, they're not that low. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, I think I dropped, I dropped B in it. Yeah, yeah. I dropped B. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's um, yeah, <laughs> but it's, and yeah, and they like use like just re regular marshals and shit like that, and it's just like if you <laughs> can do that yeah. and still sound heavy, and you got all these people paying so much money for like the latest guitars and drop tuning to drop T or whatever it is, and then it's just it just doesn't hit as hard sometimes. Yeah, exactly. It's more of a competition that way. Whereas yeah. if you just write something that yeah, you yeah, think yeah, sounds yeah. heavy, you're like, oh, that riff's fucking sick. Yeah, like, well, like, like, like with that, it's original. It's yeah, not like, just you um, playing an open note in a tuning. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, like someone in chat just said, "Winds of Plague," as a yes, yeah. man, as yeah. a classic. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I tell you what's yeah. really funny about it. I remember like getting like. <laughs> I remember what it is. So we were wait we were on like some Metal Hammer magazine or something, and I was waiting for it to come in the shops. Um, and I remember going in and seeing it, and it was the article beforehand. It was uh, "Bullet for My Valentine" getting fucking interviewed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the front statement of it was, uh, "Where's all the riffs gone?" Yeah, um, and they were talking about like the music in general of like the era then. So what I want to say like six years ago, maybe that was like five or six years ago, whatever it was. And it's just like, ah, there was a period of where like you know everything was just like, like fucking like the whole crab core movement and stuff like that. That was it. Yeah, like, yeah. There was, just, there was a whole movement of bands just being like, da 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 with like a synth over the top yeah. or another riff yeah. over the top. It was always, it and, was always a, uh, hey, we're plurals. This next song's called Now. Da da. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, <laughs> and then bring me like both my Valine were doing all that stuff, and I was like, uh, fuck me, they do have memorable riffs. Like they do, yeah. They do, yeah. And I mean, oh, for me, like when I, when Sorry. when the lads had started writing the instrumentals of this album, and I and I got oh, to hear yeah. like, got nicely done. I uh, got to hear the riffs that the lads were writing. I was like really fucking proud of it because it's what I want. I want to be like, fuck yes, lots of riff. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, you know. Be quick. Also, having all this like experience, like in the past of like what bands are heavy, what bands aren't heavy, and all that sort of thing. Mm, what is what, yeah. what is what? As a band who have been about, I mean, next year's your decade as well. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Next. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, according to the internet, if the internet's wrong, I am sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's, been it's, been um, so, it's been a while. It's been a while. Um. So. Reborn through here, era that long ago. That is. That is that correct. Was, yeah. That wasn't real. That's. That was just a fucking piss part of well, man. <laughs> <laughs> But what is um yeah? What's uh, a piece of advice you can give to bands that are starting out now? Uh, enjoy the small steps, mate, and enjoy the little things because it makes the long grind so much better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. I, I think I feel that too many bands do this nowadays. To um, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's one thing in chat. <laughs> don't. <laughs> yeah, that was, I was just about to read that. Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there are, don't. Nah. There are definitely too there are definitely too many bands who who do who I feel do this now just to um uh to try and be famous rather than yeah. oh. mm. uh there we go. I was having this chat with fucking Ross the other day from God Eight actually, and we were saying that like certain bands I'm not gonna mention them, it just seems like the pin the way to get like to the top so stage without actually doing yeah. fucking actually. Well they just the try and in. do Yeah, but it's it's also like that fucking like what we're touching on before about the like, what is heavy and that it's like people try and have these like almost fucking TikTok like viral breakdowns yeah. just to try and and they just yeah. go oh we'll, we'll make this fucking ridiculous and it'll go yeah. viral and like, yeah <laughs> it sounds shit though there's uh, you know there's one I mean? yeah <laughs> one, one person one person in chat is uh my advice would be have a famous parent so you can ride the clout to get big yeah, yeah oh man. oh wait yeah. that wasn't done fucking hell yeah. I think that's like, what we're like, I find this this quite similar to like, you know, it's not very much the same, but it's kind of like, you know, if you're using money and you're using all these like fucking external sources to like push your band to get to a place that you think you, you want to be and stuff like that and you skip all the fundamentals, it's kind of the same as being like a fucking going to the gym and jumping on like gear straight away yeah like yeah, yeah that's yeah. great but once you actually remove the gear you don't have any like fundamental knowledge of how to survive in the industry yeah so like yeah. for example like you know we can be out on the road and a tragedy can occur and we can all like we can like put our heads together and be like right we've done this for like fucking a decade or whatever you know what i mean it's like how do we get out of this situation and usually through experience we're able to like you know 
conquer like something that would be like unsurmountable to someone who had no experience and their only experience was just paying someone else to fucking excel their career and it makes yeah. it like it makes it so hollow that when it actually gets any pressure it just crumbles yeah you know what yeah. i mean oh my god i'm I Other one would just be like that was, light music. That's cool. that no, you no, like. I like that. Fuck me yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry, you can you can watch it back on the edit. Take a, I, I, I want you to make a song using nothing but I clips. Like that. <laughs> yeah. I was also going to chime in and say if you also if people find out you're buying like using money to get where you want, this is going to be passed around the whole industry. So if you're paying that one, someone else is going to come to you and be like. Yeah, give me your money. We'll try yeah. and get you a fucking sick deal, which you think will be a sick deal, but they're just literally riding the fuck out of you. One of the yeah. main ones, to be honest, would be also, like, do as much research as you can of, like, industry stuff. Like, there's honestly, there's so many, like, oh, he'll manage your band, and you're like, oh, oh, right, sick. Oh, this guy, like, knows what he's doing. Yeah, it's going to cost yeah. you £80 a month. What? Yeah. Like, shit like that. And bands will be like, yeah. oh, that's not too bad for chip in. It's like, oh, it is bad, because then you'll not do anything. Because yeah. if he wants money, it's like, it's nearly he's like, going to make yeah, sure like... you fucking make him money. You know, yeah. Yeah. whereas he could do a sweet fuck all and he's still earning money. Yeah, it's I get that. shit like that. Like, actual managers don't yeah. put you on retainers, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm always going to say They well, want to manage your bands because reason. they're good and they think you can make money. That's that's what sh it should be, you know. Get a really good fucking music lawyer. If you have <laughs> anything like that, to the, the problem, <laughs> try to get managed. Like, any contracts and stuff. They'll make yeah. it so much easier, and they'll let you know if they're trying to like fuck you over. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, so, so the other cool. thing is, you actually see, um, you yeah. see uh, so many bands who will go out there and think they've got like the best deal, and then like the two, like the one or two years that they are spending with these like people who are essentially crooked in a way, and then yeah. it by the time it's found out what's actually going on, all that drive they put into, we've wasted two years of our lives yeah. for nothing. Yeah, yeah. and lots, and, lots of money. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's all that, and then it almost like kills the the vibe of like you know it's that thing of you know when you split up with a partner and then you're like wow that's it I'm not dating anyone ever again it's that sort of like yeah. that feeling but with bands like I'm never I'm not doing this yeah. anymore I'm, I'm sick and tired of being like you know like <laughs> made a fall out of so yeah and it is, there's it is, a lot of bands as well that um, yeah. like they'll sign to a label because it's a label yeah yeah like, the thing oh, they're signed, yeah. They're like, yeah. Yeah. Be signed it's like but they're not doing anything for you whatsoever it's like you need advance, you need fucking... There's loads... Mate, I've been talking about this for so long, about yeah. like fucking yeah. misconceptions in the music industry, essentially. Yeah. By no means am I any fucking expert. Yeah. But, you know, you've got to make sure they're doing stuff for you. Check the yeah. contract. Or just sign to a bad, because you... Like, you could be giving them all of the money that you earned, and you've got fuck all. Yeah. <laughs> it's really gonna, I know it's not about money, but money you signed, You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's the big thing. It's like, oh, yeah, mom, exactly. I'm signed. Oh, you know? So, yeah, wh yeah. Wh what's Maybe in your bank account? Uh... Uh... And he's from his bedroom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just some yeah. dude, like, oh, I've started a label. Do you want to sign? This is the deal. You give me 80% of your earnings. You get 20. Right, sick. What's the advance? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> right. okay. I, I like I like the thing of uh, was it? So I'm just giving I, you money for nothing. Then I get eighty percent. <laughs> I get eighty percent of your earnings. Like, dude, I'm a, I'm in a metal band. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. eighty yeah, percent exactly. well, of zero is still zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, it is incredible. So yeah, like don't don't go to like like music college or music university because you don't use fucking any of metal anyway. Like so, yeah. just kind of <laughs> just kind of law school instead, mate, and then like I, you know yeah, that that's like that'd be much more advantageous for you. Yeah. Yeah, I can see I can see that working for a lot of people, and <laughs> hey. and hopefully with all the stuff that's going on recently, um, in terms of like music and stuff, and people being outed for basically fucking over bands, hopefully mm -hmm. it will push some people to go to these like law things. Um, unfortunately, for the wrong reasons, like why they are going there now. But it'd be nice to actually oh. see them. Oh, fuck. fuck you. Uh, oh, God. Fucking hell. God, that was a massive one. Why yeah. would you put this? Been, been, to, been told in chat, yeah, it's um, uh, what is it? Did, doing music in college and uni, but uh, college was sick, uni was fucking useless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually lost more music knowledge through university than I gained through college, because they were basically like, all that fucking theory that you have is bullshit. So, like, you don't need any of it. And they were like, what we're going to teach you to do is how to fucking manipulate the sound of hitting the bin and make it sound like a book closing. <laughs> and it's just like, fuck's sake, like... <laughs> it's the point of, like, knowing fucking six million skills when I'm fucking oh, doing this bullshit. 
Fuck. Yeah. Don't know what the like, fuck I got then, hit by. And then you start writing music and that, and you're like, right, I know six million skills. Here we go. Dun, 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 run, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll just use a chromatic skill. <laughs> Oh, Don't that worry, mum. All that, that money you put into me. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw I saw a question on a actually it came up on Facebook, Ooh. and it's from a it's from a a, a a Ricky Lee Roper, and it's why are products delivered by sea called cargo, oh. and why are products on land <laughs> called shipment? I, I think it's a deep yeah, question. So, so it's like you know, like if something if something is like travel by a car, it's called like a shipment. Oh. Travel by a ship, it's called cargo. Yeah, can, can you guys just discuss the political and uh, philosophical aspects of this, please? Mate, honestly, I know where it comes from. It comes from like the 1800s, originally when they were doing the tax records, and then the... And then when they did... The, and, and then... And it was all like the conservatives' fault. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, mate. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. It's also the same as how like you can get like blackcurrant jam and, and like... But like, like, why is it called marmalade and not orange jam? Oh, um, you, you're asking, you're asking a question there. That is, can, can someone, can someone in chat find out why it's called marmalade and not orange jam? Can we have, a, yes. can we have an answer to that? We, I need an answer by, by half and past the shipment eight, and cargo thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Why, why don't you send something by ship and call it a shipment, and send something by car and call it a cargo? Why is it the wrong way around? Like, it's <laughs> Thatcher man, Thatcher at it again. <laughs> from a grave <laughs> from, from I'll get them one last time <laughs> it's called cargo <laughs> go straight to hell a final words <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me shit wank fuck dead oh, I'm guessing there's no downstairs downstairs but ultimately mate it's because oh. the English language is fucking stupid it yeah, is. We're, oh, we're, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Still... We've got something in chat, hang on. Jam is being made by using the pulp of the juice of the fruit, whereas marmalade is made from the citrus fruit and uses juice and the peel or rind. There you go. Oh, that's... Uh, that's... So does lime and lemon um, jam have a different name as well, then? Li would it be lemon mar lime oh, it li lime li lime lime <laughs> lime <laughs> Uh, See what, what else we got here? See what I mean? It's getting deeper. Chat, chat, chat is going off about this. Marmalade is a type of jelly, technically, apparently. Oh, you might as well get rid of that, <laughs> Fucking hell. Rich thing, man, where you just get like, what's what's your favorite uh, fucking sauce? What's your favorite condiment? So get gravy. It's like, that's a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, the bistro. That's a type of gravy. <laughs> I love gravy. Uh, who doesn't? It, Gravy's uh, fucking sick. That's a relish. I oh, fucking... I love Partridge. I can't remember the quote now, but I literally just watched it before. Oh! Fuck! fuck. Shit, yeah, in my ass! Them. Fuck! So yeah, the... God. Thanks, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Appar <laughs> apparently, apparently someone in chat's... Oh, God, it UK's gone. I, I, I swear to God, I'd batter a promoter for putting marmalade on the rider. <laughs> it could be worse, oh, man. I don't could... get my fucking. I don't know. That Shit time we played somewhere. I was there, Southampton, and we were like, the drummer's got a severe nut allergy. No peanuts whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. And we turn up as a jar of fucking peanut butter. This <laughs> 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 is just like, yeah. Our favourite one that's got that time. What, where we've got like fucking. Eight, oh. eight bottles of water and ten packets of crisps, and it was a ten fucking party fucking tour package. No, no, oh so my! Yeah, the three bags, and we got oh. like a pack of multi pack of crisps. That was like ten bags, so you didn't even get like a bag of crisps each. Was that, that was a uh, Derby. Aye, uh, it's possibly I. Aye, because they wanted dog. they wanted all the bands to use fucking um, Rob's kit. And I'd just been kicking off with the fucking sound guy that we weren't going to do that because we needed a fucking tour and look after all our fucking shit and all the like, you know, the logistics that goes into writing the contract and telling the stuff that needs to happen when we get to the show and they haven't bothered doing it. Managed to fucking handle all that, gone backstage to get some fucking rider, and there's like fucking eight packets of crisps and a half eaten sandwich. Just like, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking straight hell. on the phone to EJ. Straight on the fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> EJ, you're not gonna believe what they did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking telling EJ now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, one one question. This is literally like just for my benefit. What's the story of yeah. you guys having fifty guitarists at Techfest?
That's keeping. Oh, yeah, keeping. Keep what did you do? I'm sure you have <laughs> Yeah, I was just saying that you have a piss. Can you hear us? It's like... getting really yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. all of a sudden. Oh, I was like, well, this could be epic. You can, you can, <laughs> you can tell the girth of that membrane <laughs> from the amount of splash that's coming. You know, there's a volume of piss coming out of that. It's because I'm tall. It's further away from the water. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have a piss on my tiptoes later, mate, just to see what it's like. <laughs> Stand on some yellow pages. Right. The story was, um, basically, I'd stayed, it was a tech fest and I stayed up, like, till 10 in the morning or something. Right. Getting pissed with my last book. She wasn't my last at the time, but yeah. I was sat in a van drinking with Jacob as well. Yeah, yep. And, uh, <laughs> And I just, I, I honestly couldn't even remember doing it. It's just people were telling us and fucking showing us videos of walking around the campsite, just asking people if they're in Osaya. And <laughs> we were saying yeah, and then just, just getting more and more ridiculous. And then we got home, and then on like UKTM and stuff, people had like their fucking header pictures. It's like I'm a guitarist in Osaya and shit. And <laughs> I was it like, was, what the fuck? It was bad. It, was, yeah, it yeah, just yeah, got yeah. out of hand. You planted one know. seed. Yeah, and then everyone else sprouted that seed. So people who we didn't even know were going up to people <laughs> oh, and yeah, asking if they were people like the guitarist of Osiah. And they were like, no, I'm not. He's like, well, do you want to be? So like, you are now. <laughs> I think it's because I was absolutely hammered. And someone asked like, asked me, like, are you the guitarist of Osiah? And I was like, are you the guitarist of Osiah? And I was just like, asking, asking everyone. <laughs> Because the other thing I remember is... I don't even remember doing it, honestly. It was Dave Mack, because he's got a full video, and he's like, there's you, and then like all these people just getting together, and he's like, I'll take a band promo. And there's literally like fucking 20 <laughs> people stood there, and they're all just like, the guitarist of Osaya. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? Because it was... It, was it could have went it, very it, wrong as well. It, it could have. It fucking yeah, could have. The next, the next day, I had to go find Keepin, and he was just in some random tent, passed out. <laughs> And I had to fucking carry him back to Keepin's car. His fucking pants yeah, were falling down his ankle all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Literally put him on the back seat through it, right? We're going over. It, it was incredible because... It, no, it was incredible. I fell asleep at Tech Fest, woke up outside my house. It was lit. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea how I got there. That's that's, that's, a, yeah, that's a good, good fucking bad. weekend. Because the thing is that it was it was the uh, the tech fest before my first one that I went to, and I remember just um, I remember waking up one morning because like you know being a postie and shit, and just looking on on Facebook at everyone who I knew that all of their uh, jobs were changing to guitarist of a side. And I was like, what Jesus the, Christ, what the fuck has just happened at tech fest? What have I missed? It was, it was an IRL meme, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what, what it was. That? It was <laughs> yeah. fucking. Literally, I, I, I honestly couldn't even remember doing that. That's why I normally watch a video of you like incredibly pissed, and you're like, "Oh, this is so embarrassing." <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> someone's someone's just chucked in chat. I played guitar, uh, guitar for a sign. All I got was this lousy Facebook cover photo. It's pretty, oh, much, it's pretty, much, it's pretty much how pretty it much, is. Yeah, you got about the well, same as You will be here, son. You will be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, question, question here for uh, Ricky. Like, as as your um, as the albums have gone on, like all the way from like yeah, reborn through hate, all the way through to loss, your um, mm. your lyric, your lyrical content has definitely become more open, more about um, like essentially, like what's going through your head mentally, what's going uh, like emotions and stuff like that, and it's something that we're seeing in the scene as well. Um, what's mm. the um, what's brought on such a change, like? Because it's becoming definitely more pre uh, prevalent, especially in Lost. If anyone actually Ugh, reads the lyrics, man. there there are oh, some hard hitting hey. lyrics. Oh. So yeah, okay. Um, I really, I don't know, mate. I don't, I don't really think that I'm, like, I haven't noticed that there's been a trend of this going <laughs> on, mate, where there's more like intrinsic lyrical themes and stuff. I just maybe I would associate that more with just the people that are inside our circles, but I don't know, mate. I just think back in the fucking day, like when you were in a deathcore band, you were just yeah. trying to be as edgy as fuck. Yeah. To just try and get yeah, that yeah. shock factor. Oh, yeah. um, and once you remove, once again, this is one of those things, you know what I mean? Once you remove all that bullshit of talking about how much you pissed off about things or how much you hate fucking God or whatever, it's yeah. like, what do you actually start <laughs> writing about? Yeah. And then, like, I think, you know, you're always like, I mean, this is going to sound pretty dark, but it's like, you know, you're like, oh, what's the most brutal thing I can think of? Well, it's obviously hell. And then you're like, what's the most brutal thing I can think of? And it's like, well, actually, real life is yeah, kind no. of fucking brutal. It's true. If you want to talk, like, if you want to talk about like, like the real shit, like, it's like we're basically born into this. Like, we don't choose to be born. I'm not going to like try and 
you know, debate that fucking morality of parenthood and stuff I like that. But you are, the people, Lord. But you are like <laughs> thrown into this thing where it's like, right, okay, I'm gonna look after you for sixteen years or whatever, and then after that you're gonna have to pay your own fucking bills and you're gonna have to do this shit and you've now got people fucking depending on you, so don't fuck up. Yeah. You've got all this to do, and then it's like, fuck me, that's that's like is this like what purgatory or hell is like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't do fucking Hashtag anything teach wrong. Ta teach tax in school. I fucking <laughs> down with the capital capitalist regime. Like, you know, oh, it's God. fucking I just that draws more anger from me than yeah. anything else, mate. Like, yeah. the whole fact that, like, you know, life... Like, I'm sorry, this, like, you asked for it. You no, know, go for it. Like, Do it. Like, so, like, you know, we're pretty <laughs> smart as a species. You know, we've started looking into, like, the stars and stuff like that. And we're also trying to find, like, other life out there and stuff like that. And the more that we're looking for life, the more we're realizing how valuable life is. Yeah. Like, not only do you need a planet in the Goldilocks zone, you also need, like... Your own solar system inside a galaxy zone, there's, part, there's particular bits where the radiation is too high or the solar storms are too high and that destroys the planet. And then you've also got to get like, mate, there's millions what? of like little, little factors that go into creating life. But yet, like fucking 60 billion land animals or something are slaughtered every day, like fucking yep. every year for food. Like millions and millions and millions of fish are just ripped out the fucking water and like children are just born into this fucking slave society where like you've got to get out the slave society to be happy yeah. and i guess for us this is kind of what the band is you know but while we're trying to pursue this fucking endeavor like what's really upsetting me right now and what i think is really harrowing is just the life that i live in right fucking now and like the thoughts that i have to battle every fucking day and i can't think of anything more evil or sorrowful and stuff like that and I, d I don't know, I started tipping my toes into it, like, for terra firma and stuff like that, and become more and more open, and as I was doing that, more and more people were coming to us. We've had people, oh, like, message that. our Sorry. band page being like, you know, our songs have pulled them out of, like, the grip of suicide. Like, they yeah. jumped into a fucking car, drove away, and the Spotify's went on random, they've hit one fucking line on it, and went, oh god, and it just snapped out of it. And then they read the lyrics or whatever, and they're like, oh my god, like, this is, this is how I fucking feel? Oh my god, That's I'm all it alone anymore. And it's like, oh fuck me, like this this guy's talking about something that I can really fucking relate to because it, it, and you know, it's as important to me as it's cathartic to talk about as it is for someone to also be healed from it, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I get that. You know, it's it's almost as if like when you're young you're kinda like scared to talk about your emotions and people yeah. think that you're fucking weak or stuff like that, but the more I've been in this position of, you know, an ability to do this, I've realized, like, how positive it is for such a, like, dark thing that I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but it's, it's like, it's, it's cool, mate, because, like, even if, like, I was t I'm telling the lads now, I'm ready to write now, I've, I've, yeah. I'm ready to fucking go, like, I'm inspired again, and it's, co like, I'm from a completely different mental place than I was through loss, because mm -hmm. we all have been through this fucking pandemic, and we're fucking... We're not through it, but we're, we're fucking we're here. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're still gone. We're still doing our shit, and we're still going on. And I'm and this is this is what I want to talk about now. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, like the, fucking... the four of us are having a laugh at the moment. There's a load of people in chat who are agreeing with us. <laughs> so fucking... we're, we're, still, we're still having an alright time. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I can't wait to listen to this like, back because it's just going to be being keep it going. Fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 when Rob is good. I say there are there are there are, there are, de there, there are definitely um, there are definitely some more bands out there who are doing like uh, like the deeper lyrics like if like uh, just chuck a couple of names like I know Bound in Fear for example with Ben some of the lyrics yeah, he's coming Ben's, out with very yeah, fucking ben, deep vocals. Uh, Ben's sick one. Me and me and Ben have spoke a lot about like fucking like shared trauma from yeah. our past and stuff like that, and we openly spoke about it together. Like you know we hugged hugged it out and talking about some shit. Yeah, and it's like fuck me like like. And I, I kind of wish that we all knew that it was like this for yeah. everyone. Like, I'm not trying to say that we're all born, like, I know that, you know, the Buddhist mentality of existence is suffering and stuff like that. But there is so much beauty out there that, like, life is fucking beautiful, but it's just all the fucking shit that goes into it, which makes yeah. it so dark. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, the problem it's just is... people being it, shit. That's what it, it is. Doesn't, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't fucking have to be like this, mate. It exactly. doesn't. Yeah. It does not have to be like this. Yeah, I know, like, we need some sort of, like, trade-based economy to keep, like, people, like, purposely working towards the advancement of the human race because, you know, there will be people who will inherently take advantage of that system. 
but there's exactly like people are there's, shy, yeah but there's like animals like in prehistoric times that have like been looked after like saber there's been like bones dug up of like saber tooth tigers and stuff that have like looked after their damage and stuff like that yeah and it's like like even in the animal kingdom in our earlier days we were like still working as a tribe you know what i mean but like kind of what's happened now in society and stuff is like there's there's just loads and loads and loads of little tribes that all just have their own little belief and just hate everyone else's differential of, of belief you know and like that that huge divide in opinion is you know it's, it's pushed by media it's it's pushed by fear of poverty of yeah. like like all the stuff around us and missing the inherent core of like you know like what we're saying like other people are going through this stuff there's beautiful stuff out there but like it's been overshadowed by you know just what you know we are told is normal life <laughs> it's, it's fucking it shouldn't so yeah it's fucking crazy man but like as i say you know like tell me a subject that's more darker than that and i'll there write isn't. about that <laughs> <laughs> exactly, mate. Yeah, you know there isn't. I mean? So yeah, and I don't think there will be for a while because even even when you look at uh, lyrics from like a uh, Whitechapel from a couple of albums ago, like especially the album Diggs Road, where uh, Phil talks about like the his parents and how they died and shit like that. Like even then, yeah. like you're listening to this lyric, like you know, we we will listen to the Smack Department. We all we know the lyrics. We all know "fucked yeah, and yeah. left for dead." And then this yeah. comes out, which is like heavy hitting. Like this <laughs> is still the same band, but at the same time, it's like holy shit this is hitting hard this is actually you know helping me get through something in a medium that i also enjoy because it's through yeah. heavy metal like heavy or death metal mm. also yeah. though it's like you know the whole point of music is without sounding fucking soft as fuck it's like you know you know you know when you hear a band or like lyrics and stuff and you're like oh fuck hell that feels like it means something and like, yeah enjoy the song more because of it you listen well yeah. and repeat because you can you know relate the lyrics the, it means so much yeah. more to people and yourself than listening to, you know, a song where you're talking about tearing up a fucking lass. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Because yeah. you know it, was, I mean? like, it yeah. was actually a... I actually did speak to, um... Uh, I forgot his fucking name. Um, Vocalist of Ingested. Jason? Jason, yeah. Yeah, Jason, yeah, I actually did speak you, to... Do you mean the Slam King? The Slam yeah. King! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, my lord. Please forgive me. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jason, yeah. that, that wasn't me being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I admit. It's not like a prick there. J Jason, if you're in <laughs> Jason, if you're in chat, be decent. Leave me a subscription. Um, hey, I've so just lost a follower from the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all about my subscriptions. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I, actually, I actually did say to him, I was like, so this was when, I think it was uh, just after the Divine Right of Kings came out. And I said to him, um, like, why, uh, like, what's with the lyrical change? Because, you know, you, you went from, uh, was it surpassing the badge of human suffering? I was like, what was yeah. with the, the change in lyrics? And his word for word reply was, I'm just sick and tired of singing about my dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah, I get that. <laughs> that's, that's fair. He must yeah, be um, hung like a... A horse if he's got fucking about six albums worth of cock. Uh, six, <laughs> albums worth of cock. <laughs> six albums worth of cock. That's why, that's why they call him the Slam King, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, slams it down. Yeah. But yeah, the um... Jam King. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe as well, mate. I mean, like maybe back in the day before, like you know, all. Money. Maybe life was a little bit more, you know jokery back then mate you know yeah we all used i get to that yeah joke, like when we were younger we used to joke about like like dark comedy and dark themes and like things that were like typically scary and stuff yeah and as you got older you're like maybe this isn't the most efficient way to handle like yeah this trauma like maybe we should actually just identify it and and i think maybe you know maybe just like as the zeitgeist of like the musical community like that kind of like matured within us as well you know yeah. like yeah. And then obviously, you know, the, the, like what Kim was saying, you know, like someone might be like listening to a band and it's just like, I'm going to put my dick in your <laughs> hole that I made with a knife. Yeah. And then like, you're like, oh, fucking here we're going again. And then you like, listen to a band and they're just like, fucking, life is really poo. And you're like, oh, it is really poo. Yeah. I know, mate. And then you listen to it more. And yeah. And like that fucking... You know, and then because you listen to that more, you know, they get more traction, more stream. It's like, you can yeah. hear, man, you should hear about this guy talk about how life is really poo. Like, you're going to fucking <laughs> love this. And then it helps, you know what I mean? But, like, exactly. I don't know. I mean, I mean like, even though, even though the actual, even though, like, the... <laughs> <laughs> even though the, uh, the actual, uh, the, even though yeah, the actual music... Co even though the music content wasn't exactly the same, it was like, the latest Linkin Park record that came out. 
Oh like, God! So, so some of the, some of the lyrics in there, and then obviously after everything that happened with Chester afterwards, like mm. you, then, you then re rewatch this same, or re listen to this same album, and you're just like, yeah. Jesus Christ, that's this is hitting heavy. Architects, um, yeah, oh, the me. last one, the one of the guys wrote like the one who died was writing yeah. the lyrics as well, and he basically wrote lyrics about him dying for like the vocalist to sing about, and then after you read them, knowing this thing, I'd be like, fuck me, I don't think I could yeah. do it. I yeah. don't think Keepin could write me a song about him, what, you know what I mean? And then me being like, all right, mate, no worries. Hit that fucking, fucking record button, let's go! <laughs> let's fucking go, oh, yeah. guys! <laughs> Here come the depression sessions! But like, but, I, yeah. but like, their massive rise of success after that, I think is very well, like, deserved through that trauma. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, it's, I, I mean, it, it was their full-time job and stuff like that, and they could have done whatever the fuck they wanted me like i couldn't yeah. imagine what it <laughs> feels like to go through that shite you know what i mean you yeah. know what i mean you, you fucking break up with a fucking lass and you're like oh that's it i'm fucking never touching a girl again i'm celebrating for the rest of my life yeah. fuck off and then like and then you fucking brother fucking ah that's grim as fuck man you know yeah you, i think you as well like... with them uh, uh like fucking style of lyrics it's more or less to be like it oh look at me i listen to it. like you know when people's like oh no listen to heavy stuff yeah. yeah, it's the songs of people fucking shitting chainsaws and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, all right, proper edge road. Fuck's sake. Plus, like, it's, you know, you, it's kind of been done, and you try not to be inherently cringy about it as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think it's been, I think it's been done, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think there's much more you can really say without, like, fucking... Being cancelled. Being arrested, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there is there is a level to it now, yeah. Um, uh, but no, to anyone who's uh, doing that shit, fucking big up. It's fucking it's about yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, and that's actually that's actually so, uh, something I can say to my vocalist as well. Like all, some of the shit he comes out of him, like at the at the end of some of the like the recording sessions, I'm like, dude, are you okay? Yeah, like, it's, oh, mate, like, what, like, is mate, shit is shit good? <laughs> mate, while yeah. I was recording Kingdom of Lies, Jamie mm. actually like sat down with us outside, and he was like, "Yeah, I want to talk to you about your lyrics, mate." And he was just like, "I can see that you're getting quite open about this, and I just yeah. want to know where your headspace is at." And I was just like, "It's really hard to talk about. Like, fucking, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I don't know if the lads are going to think it's fucking cringy and stuff like this." And he was like, and he literally said it was. He was like, "Bro, you could fucking save someone's fucking life here, you know." Yeah, it's very true. And yeah. I was, I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Mate, like, someone can be in, like." Tell me a guy who's inspired you before his lyrics, and I was like, Oh, fucking Jamie Justin, mate, the hate breeds fucking perseverance album. I listen to that every time I'm fucking down, and all his lyrics probably hit hard on like, yeah, mental health and emotion and stuff. And he's like, Yep, yeah. yeah, and he yeah. had to cross that fucking barrier of not being like, you know, New York hardcore. And the fucking... It's great, mate. Yeah, what an it's, album. It's awesome oh, yeah. that you can actually get that that emotion out of you just through just through like putting your fucking oh, it's Spotify. It's incredibly on. cathartic, mate. Yeah, like, it's, fucking... it's one of the best feelings. Um, <coughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to a bit more of a light high light high question. Do it, mate. We all Here we go. Boys. So I keep fucking laughing at the wrong times. I did a fart and I was like, oh, from the fucking <laughs> and then, Xbox thing. And then, like, I, I lost forgot, him that like, night. fucking. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's gonna come through me on fucking me condenser mic though. Fucking proper ripper was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> proper ripper. Andy might be laughs and vocalist fierce as he talks about his past trauma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, just toilets and that. <laughs> Keeping pisses over what was analogy of fucking. <laughs> so yes, let's. So yeah, look. Honestly, like we've already said it, life's fucking great, man. It's just there's loads of little yeah. bullshit that you need to fucking get on with while we're doing it, but. You know, one day when I'm, you know, one day in life, mate, I'm just gonna really struggle thinking about where I'm gonna put all my awards and trophies and stuff. That's that's what my life would be one day. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I have to get um, a bigger house for all my awards. So let's go, mate. Let's do say, so you guys, fancy. you you guys are clearly like from the, from the north. You guys are Sunderland based, like uh, Newcastle based. Tell me something. Yes. Tell me some stuff about the north south divide that you either love, hate, or can't forgive. The north what, and south the north? divide. The north south divide. Yeah. Well, saying like you, oh, you, you, you come, you come to the south, and you're like, oh, I can't believe you me fuck it. So no, I, no, I will get you started on this. <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, I will get you started on this. It's called a roll. The price of a fucking pint, mate. <laughs> uh, wait, okay, I, so I was just about to see when I go when we're on tour and I go to a club and I'm like, oh, I fancy having a vodka and coke. 
and I'm just like, can I have a vodka and coke? And they're like, yes, nine pound. And I'm like, no, I don't want any more. Like, fuck off. So <laughs> like nine quid for vodka and coke. I tell you, yeah, I tell you what, I'll, ne I'll never forgive. Apart from the price of drinks down there, mate, is basically the way that the South talks. Like with the way that they like accentuate like the, the vowels and the words. Stupid accent. Do you know what? <laughs> oh, that's like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fucking no. The reason the reason why they did that was to to establish like a a, a division in class. Like they wanted like the fucking south to be like more like well spoken and left the fucking north. They, to yeah. Just, he wanted the to, thing to be more bouncy and happy. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, keep. Came let, him go, oh, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Keep the going. Other, the other thing I hate about the South is how all of them are fucking Tories. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. As, 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 someone, as someone who is, as someone who is. As someone who is uh... <laughs> Clarify, you're actually joking there, by the way. <laughs> I am joking. I could upset a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny though because like it, that is like the stereotype of you know so it is. But like all the people I personally know down here, I don't think I know any. Like at all. <laughs> the, other, the other one that actually got me as well. Um, I was actually on this um, re uh, on Twitch recently, and there was a, uh, a, a woman from Germany who was in chat, and uh, we was actually there was an argument happening in on stream about what a bread roll should be called, and she said, "Oh, you have that in your oh, country yeah. too." I was like, what do you mean? And she was like, yeah, we have that in our country as well. It's called like this in this part of the country. I was like, so I'm glad it's not just us who, who have yeah. that. It's like, it's e it's everywhere. And it's it's a bread roll as well. It's not anything else. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What do you call orange juice? What do you call fucking wheat a bit? I don't yeah. know. What do you call toothpaste? No, it's always the bread roll. <laughs> there was yeah. that meme and fucking where it's like, uh, where you travel for four hours, what happens in your country? And America's like, you're still in the same state. <laughs> <laughs> the UK is like you literally change accents and what bread rolls called. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. name and like fucking different city. I love, I love yeah. my argument for that though because we call it a bun. Yeah. Right. And like bread rolls <laughs> fine as well. Yeah. It's things like balm and bread cake a balm that cake. I can't yeah. deal with. Uh, yeah, cake. yeah. It's not cake. It's bread. Anyway. Yeah, my <laughs> argument is always, you know, when a hair, a girl ties a hair <laughs> or a guy ties it. Yeah. Or a man bun. Yeah. Why is yeah. it called that? Because it resembles a bread roll, like a bun. That's, <laughs> it's, that's no, it's, why it's because it's because it, it's, it's folded, so it's bundled up, which is what they do with yeah, the door to make it. Yeah, bun. but well, exactly yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. So, so does that mean up north it's called like I don't know, like a man bomb? Is that what it's called? Man bomb, it... man bread cake. A man bread cake. <laughs> mate, we, mate, we don't have man buns in the north, mate. You get castrated. Fucking hell. <laughs> My favourite one was I was um, wearing a. What was it? I was wearing a fucking pair of pointy shoes, and someone asked me, "What are they for? Kicking the eyes out of spiders?" <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was fucking great. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, um, it's a question I'm, I'm asking absolutely everyone I have on here: What are your guys' tour life hacks? What makes your what makes tour easy if you like a little life hack you can do? Life hacks for tours. Um, Anything that comes to mind? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think... stay out of my way. Did a talk? <laughs> no. Yeah, don't talk, to Andy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is like, that every... honestly, Is that... mate? Like, so yeah, I'm trying to. It think. just depends, mate, because like you know, like, like we probably do loads of tour hacks just by. Wet wipes. Yeah, just with experience, mate. Yeah. Like, I mean, for me, is yeah, that's what I mean. I'm trying like, to think what I do. Like, like my most important fucking thing is just remember that you you're there to you know perform a task, so like you know value sleep, like because yeah. once you start fucking your sleep you fuck your recovery and then tour starts getting really shit. Like yeah. our last tour, I was having a great time because I wasn't fucking gassing, I was sleeping well, I was rested, I was blah blah, blah nothing was doing that, and then like. You know, there's people who get like the second day of tour and they're like, oh, we're fucking hung out, we're fucking knackered. It's like, yeah. well, mate, you got another fucking 12 days to go now. I'm fucking yeah. glad you start off on your strong foot. Yeah, two uh, two bits of uh, advice I always give everyone. Whenever people ask me about tours, I always say, actually, like like you said, you've been said in chat, go to a supermarket and actually eat some proper fucking food. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. mate, it's just, just tr like, yeah. Yeah, man, just try and be home away from home. Yeah, like, fucking. Things. You don't get away on two and just fucking start piling down the fucking Macky D's and stuff like that and getting yourself yeah. fucking <laughs> ill on the road. That's exactly, like... yeah. <laughs> three, three I mean, days. Like, I'm just saying, what you, what you trying to say? What you trying to say? I've got fucking. 
<laughs> you could have bumped the first stomach like so I can do the McDonald's. No, keeping the one with the fucking fallout stomach. Aye. Jesus Christ. Aye. Aye. He ate pizza. four day old pizza and it wasn't any four day old pizza, it was pizza that was underneath the beds for like four days Aye, in the listen, van. The van was fucking cold, man. It's like a fridge sound. <laughs> <laughs> well you did well, die. Like, so like well, that's fucking... like on the first tour that I went on uh, went on the first time I had fucking a tenner. <laughs> so you just brought loads of penguin had. biscuits and fucking quavers and stuff. <laughs> Beef jerky, <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Was eat fucking Chris Harney's and drink Stella that was on the rider. <laughs> so that's the thing you don't shop and eat all the good fucking so, posh stuff. So, so a yeah. real life great tour hack. Okay, every venue you get to, if you're the vocalist, you actually help carry the gear in and then introduce yourself to the sound guy and make him your fucking friend. Yeah. Aye, that's a very good one, actually. Yep, that's yeah. that's fucking great. Yeah, uh, de definitely was uh, was it? <laughs> Which vocalist you mean, Tony Robert? <laughs> <laughs> that was the <laughs> mate. <laughs> mate, I'm was too busy up. getting my photo taken and signing all the rocks to carry the gear. So do not fucking <laughs> listen. I can't straighten my hair and talk to some guy. <laughs> I, I can't straighten my hair and fucking shit to some guy's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I, I would be like, it would be fucking so wet wipes, definitely. If you actually want to drink as well. Remember like the cattle tour where Andy, where like, I just bought a bottle of whiskey at the start. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, that's and that's my drink for the whole tour. Because yeah, yeah. half the time, if there's a club night afterwards, something like that, you end up fucking skint. Because yeah. you, you yeah. just want to drink because you're bored. That happens a lot of the time as well, if you haven't got a rider especially. <laughs> so you end up spending shit tons. Whereas if you have a bottle of whiskey in your van, and a bottle of fucking pop, just take your own fucking drinks in the video. Yeah, it's like uh, definitely. Pop. It saves uh, so much money. Are they yeah. called pop? I take a bum bag with this because yep. like people like you don't under like don't realize how fucking vital the bum bag is. It's yeah. so sick. You look cool. It's not as good as a van bag. Aye. A backpack's <laughs> too fucking big to carry around everywhere. Plus you can sneak it in the night. No, you got a backpack well. as big as mine, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, you could just like slide it round and it's like now on your back, so it's now like a bum backpack. Mm. But you're in a nightclub with it and then you just slide it back round again. So yeah. if you're trying to take anything in, you shouldn't. Mm. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> mate, I, like, like uh, Andy does I take like a like a medical bag with him as well, and so yeah. do I. Like, Andy has loads of painkillers and random stuff like that, and yeah. I take like medical essentials and super glues and stuff like that as well. Yeah. Um, For sticking so, things together, right? But, <laughs> no, you, can, you can do your fingernails and stuff like that if you damage them while you're on fucking tour and stuff. You can just fucking super glue your fingernail back on. If you're hitting the rope and buff and glue on tour. <laughs> 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 oh, I made a fucking. What you got? No, I've got a pink of Stella. What you got? I've got vodka. Oh, me. What about you, rope man? <laughs> oh, I'm super glue, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got this PVA glue this, I'm eating. I've been hoffling this fucking gorilla glue like. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a fucking multi pack of Nemo Nails, me, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you tap wet wipes, I didn't realise until just recent, until uh, Vanda, shout out Steve, uh, yeah. he mm. told me the ones I was using don't, they say they're flushable, but they're not actually flushable. No, no, yeah. very few of them are, mate. Uh, yeah, so if you do take your wet wipes, research them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> kind of environment, even yeah. though you are travelling around in a sprinter that uses diesel. <laughs> I've got another. I've got another one. Some people might not agree, but I yeah. do. People a lot of the time like overpack. For t I do it myself yes. all the time. Yeah. So I'll yeah. come back with loads of still clean clothes. I'm like I could have saved so much space. Uh, the most important thing to take on two of those socks and boxer shorts. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <wear> well. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's an insight for everyone. Roper is always fucking just going around commando the entire tour, all the time. So yeah. let, Why let do you think be... I've got my hands in my pocket all the time? <laughs> <laughs> no. Gad's commando and sockless as well. Sockless. <laughs> He's Sackless. always got that fang on him, man. How do you guys see touring happening in future? Not just for you guys, but like for every band in general, like both UK and the world. <laughs> How do you see it happening? I don't personally think there's long left me until... You know, we fucking yeah, got this thing under under knack. Just yeah. fucking, I don't know, mate. I don't want to be like, you know, if everyone gets but vaccinated and everyone starts looking after the health and trying to take yeah. care of each other, we might get through this quicker. But it's like, you know, what like everyone's allowed their own personal opinion on stuff like that. But yeah. just if we just have an overall, you know, attitude of 
let's not be a dick to the person who's standing next to us. Then yeah. I think yeah. we'll not be long, you know. And, you know, um, I think America have now asked for the statistics not to be reported to the government anymore. And obviously, we're moving out of plan B and stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, you know, we're moving more into like the cold flu territory and stuff like that. And we can start, you know, mm. maybe a yeah, year. They... Maybe yeah. another full year. Yeah. Uh, at most, yeah. you know. And there's, there's always been this overarching like thing in like society of being like, ugh, if you don't wash your hands, ugh, that's germy, no. ugh. I just think that's just going to be ramped up a bit for a couple of years and, you yeah. know, as long as we're yeah. fucking cool about it. And the industry's alive, mate, you know, it's, fucking, yeah. it's yeah. like the downtime really showed people how important music was, you know, and, you know, the bands <clears> had an opportunity to, there's some fucking great albums that were released. Yeah. During the, yeah. It's fucking, like some really, like, I, we could not have wrote... Well, I personally couldn't have wrote something as intrinsic as this if we weren't going through what we're going through now, you know what I mean? So I think, I don't know, mate, like, I do I do really enjoy the idea of there being, like, loads of gigs because loads yeah. of bands need to get out there and instead of having, like, a gig a month, you might, have like, have a gig, like, every two weeks that you might want to go to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, what it was like fucking, you know, ten years ago <sighs> during the MySpace era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Where, like, the, good, you could the good old go days. Oh, I'll be back! Oh, oh, I'll be back. Shit. oh my god. Right, sorry. Just down one on the roof. Well, oh. let's, you know, all we're gonna do is just fucking push it together, you know, we're music community, let's fucking gun for it, let's get all the shows under our belt and fucking have a good time, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Fucking... Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Personally, uh, I have so I have actually played a few gigs, and one of the things I can tell the most <coughs> is how uneasy some people are with, um, Playing gigs because you can see it in their faces. Oh, yeah. You got you got up to you go up to a mate you ain't seen two years. You go, oh, you're right, mate. And you you, like, you go in for that hug or something or that yeah. whatever it is. And then instantly you're like, oh, actually, hang on a minute. This we should yeah. be doing that. So yeah, there is there is quite a lot of. Yeah, I think but... that'll be like I've seen, you know, like people's aversion to germs and stuff like that has yeah. always been like a part of society. But I think it's just going to be ramped up for a little bit still, you know, yeah. like. I mean, I, I said the Let's lads go. before we before Lovely. we went away on our last tour. I was like, look, lads, like, cause I always catch colds and flus because of how I rip my fucking throat open. I just think that, like, you know, it gives any like viruses or pathogens or anything like an easier shot into my bloodstream when I've got like, you know, a sore throat and I'm breathing in <laughs> some fucking someone's fucking toxic breath. You know yeah, what exactly. I mean? Yeah. So like, yeah. fucking, it's. I don't know, mate. I think. I, I was I was scared of it at, at the end of the day, mate. Like fucking yeah. going back on the road and stuff like that. But it's you know I think that was overshadowed by the fact that I'm doing, you know, what I love and what my what I yearn to do. Yeah. yeah. Fucking... It, it, it made it it made it so much so much worth it. But yeah, I think it'll subside, mate, with um, positive experience. I just you know it's very very fresh and very rampant at the moment. But I think over time. It'll fucking wear down again, and we'll be all yeah. fucking cushy, mate. We'll all be fucking out of the moon. It is. It is nice to hear some people as well, like actually asking for consent for like, like literally as uh, Laura in chat just said, asking for consent just for a hug. Because even some people like are yeah, okay yeah, with yeah. bodily contact. So it's like you yeah. have to give you a hug. It's like yeah, it's, it's nice to hear the consent there yeah. as well. It's like bit, people being considerate of each other. Um, so as uh, as both a band and people in general, Shit. what are your plans for 2022? Other than more pork pies. Get, get oh. shit done, mate. You know what I mean? We nah, never really stopped, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know, mate. Like, I don't know how much we can really say about things and stuff, but we're just... We are very fucking busy. Like, we have a huge plan set out and, like, we're pretty much fucking good to go. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah we just need a gig. We need to get gigs. Good yeah. fucking gigs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we want it's more gigs. It's the main gigs, thing, like, for fucking... me. It's as as uh, God Eater as well in chat just said. Uh, I think the only way to learn uh, how to talk with COVID is to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of fucking, do that's, yeah, that's that's <laughs> the fucking one. Like, just when we got back, we were like, okay, how do we do this better this time? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so we now have a plan set for how we can do it more effectively and safer. And I, if if we don't get like the the best like environment to tour in, I think bands will be able to adapt more if um legislation allows them to take that fucking risk sort yep. of thing you know what i mean like you know there is a way to do this safely you know like fucking i remember getting an email from the musicians union and stuff talking about like touring parties where they would ensure that like 
every member at like the venue would be vaccinated as well. So even as a two-room party, you could just enter this building and be like, oh, well, the sound guy is going to be safe. The fucking bar staff are going to be safe. Yeah. The fucking TM is going to be, the runner's going to be safe. The fucking everything, you know what I mean? So, and like, I don't know this. Fucking, we'll yeah. adapt. Has, has anyone in chat got any questions for Osiah? Anything in general? Dan even even if it's there, a stupid said, question. He said, what's the worst gig you've ever played? Yeah, go for it, yeah. So the first that thing that comes to mind, I was going to say, but I didn't technically clear that. That's what I was going to uh, say. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So give us the premise. Fucking... Is that the Machine Head one? Machine Head? Where we turned no, up and they were like... No, it's uh, the one where I had to take the promoter to the cash machine to fucking force them to, yeah, to fucking pay one. us. It machine Head one. one. The one was to put all our gear into, like, a dizzy chain of extensions. Pay right. system was a four-channel Behringer thing. And the sound guy on the venue was like, well, it was good enough for Machine Head. And I was like, fuck off There's no Machine, Machine Head, Head there. So yeah. I walked out, and as I walked out, and it's like, it, Machine Head, tribute back. And I was like, yeah, fuck Oh, there we, it go. Wasn't Machine there we go. It yeah, wasn't Machine it. Head, yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, mate, I can't explain how bad, like, where's the stage? And I was like, that's fine, it can be a floor show. I've done plenty of them, that's not the problem. Where are we going to plug all the gear in? And he pointed just like the plug on the floor, and I was like, "Is there any more?" He was like, "No, no, I just get some extensions." I'm like, "No." And it's just like, yeah. And then he did <laughs> about the DI mean? boxes. Yeah. So oh, on, yeah. The tech, on the tech rider, we've got like, yeah, we need this many DI boxes. This is what we need. And he literally went, "What's a DI box?" Oh Not my god. Kidding. He wanted so all the way in breach of contract, so that'll be us. What we I <laughs> wanted us to fucking our bloody button track. He wanted us to plug it directly from our rig into his desk window the i box and i was like Fuck you having a laugh do not leave without getting paid go talk to the promoter and i was like ronan put your biggest coat on now we're going to have to <laughs> <laughs> we're on the, we're on the way to fucking drifted house what's his name nah, harry, harry put something we're slept in <laughs> yeah, harry, the house mate <laughs> oh that was a night that, that was a fucking yeah, night hell in the fucking haunted house after all that bullshit that was great, that. Fucking horrible. <laughs> like, I don't the believe the ghosts are better. or anything that's personally right. <laughs> but, Harry it... lived in a flat, and the dad, they were like, oh, where are we going to sleep, mate? And then he went, oh, you can sleep downstairs. The woman downstairs just died. She was like an old woman. Um, right. But if we, we're looking after a like, flat, so you can just go in there. There's nothing in their mind. We're like, all right, fine. So we get there, and like, Ronan's like, oh, I need a tin opener, tin opener for me tuna. So we're like, well, there's fuck all here. So I had a look. Well, I found one anyway. We're like, oh, mate, you just took a dead woman's fucking tin opener. You can't have that. <laughs> oh, my God. So we're like, oh, she's going to be haunting you the night, mate. Going like, oh, give us my fucking tin opener. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> he was Honestly, he, he was found four days later with his skull Honestly, open like a tin of baked beans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were lying. We were lying on the floor, mate, and the fucking lights turned on by themselves. Honestly, oh was, my god, we fuck shit that. to ourselves. But we were on like FaceTime with like girlfriends and stuff, and they were like, "What the fuck? The lights just turned on." Or like, is there someone well, in the house? Yeah, off, is there someone? No, no, we're like, fucking either no. turned on. Um, Ronan just went, "Fuck that!" It just pulled the fucking cold hours head and went to sleep. <laughs> 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 just fucking gone. It was. See you later, mate. Pretty West fucking the, creepy. So like, it was weird. Then like. three were then three were downstairs below us. And me and Rab were in Harry Davies' living room. And yeah. And it was fucking literally like, they were like ringing and they had haunted. And I was like, right, just leave us alone. We go to sleep. Well, were you sniffing glue again? <laughs> 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 went to sleep and then halfway through the night, I wake up and Rab's like shaking us. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, what time are we going on stage? And I was like, Rab, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, hold them the hand and shit. And I was like, Rab, what? What's going on? And he just went back asleep, like dead. And I was like, oh. um, th there are there are two in particular that I I want to know more about, and or, or it's like almost like hearing it again because I've seen it on fa fa Facebook as well. What was the one that happened in Czech uh, in Czech Republic with the guy, the, the couple who were having sex? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you another another gig, which, which is the worst and best gig before we get into the actual right. Ones, okay, is the one is the one where like. You had to do it instrumentally because I had a fill-in fallout. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I, I, I had a fuck. I went with two of the faces, so I had a fucking stupid show with my club band, which I couldn't fucking get out of right, on okay. one of the dates. So I had to go back home, and we had like a we had a fill-in who was meant to like fucking learn the set, like no names, had to learn the set and do it. Uh, and a couple of days before he was 
like destined to do it. He was like, lads, like it's too short notice. I'm sorry, I can't fucking do this. And it's like, all okay. right, no worries. So Keaton goes on stage. And he's and just I like, I do the talk and me, and I was I, I'm so sorry, yeah, mate. I'm so it's sorry. That was on people. you. There was no, it's, it's fine because I was like, I'll do it because Andy's not gonna do it, is he? Like, oh, I was just like, dead I'm shy. Absolutely not doing this. So I had a microphone. <laughs> front, it was with two with a face, so there was quite a few fucking people there. Fucking and I was hell, just like, yeah. hello guys. I was like, right, so this is the crack. Um, our vocalist isn't here, so instead of cancelling, we're gonna play like, inst gonna play instrumentally. Um, basically, what happened was we had. Um, Roba had a fill in, but he dropped <laughs> out um, last minute. So, you know, thanks very much, all that sort of thing. Then we read a review, and it was like saying that, like, we amicably played the set without a vocalist who had an emergency, emergency dentistry done because his fill in fell out. <laughs> <laughs> so, because of the accent. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god, like, that's brilliant. It does sound well, like I a had fill a fill in, but it. it it fell out, so this reviewer wrote it and like published it, and we were just like, oh my god, like that's on our legacy forever. Yeah, this Second is forever gonna be, yeah. Uh... My teeth uh... are fucking fine. <laughs> right, wait, uh, oh, is, the two stories you want to know is one of them the, the one that Enrique just put in the chat. Yeah, that was the other one, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know which one this is. Do, so, hey. so the one in chat is uh, with the spears, <laughs> the African spears. Yeah, oh that's my the God! The nightmare the first drunk dragon soup. Uh, uh, so tell the check one first, and then I'll tell the second one. Oh, the check one. Oh my God! Right, so <laughs> is that the vegan fucking right? festival? No, no, me. Behind you guys yeah, on yeah. the stairwell. Yeah, yeah. Vegan toast sardines in so, two well, like, plastic carrier bags. Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> where we're we gonna sit? <laughs> yeah, where we're we sitting tonight, lads. So, um, where we're we sitting tonight? And then we're like, oh, um, you can stay at this lass's house. We're like, alright, oh, sweet. Like, what's a crack? Well, she's already gone home. Um, but, like, this is our dress and all this sort of shit. Um, so we get there. Like, it was fucking sketchy, honestly. I tell you what so it was, it was, it was really hard to get there because there was nowhere to park. So I remember yeah. spending like 40 yeah, minutes going like, around all the was, side streets. It was like trying to park in like a city centre, but they were all like flats and business Like things. huge weird apartments, place, like, yeah. like, oh, like endless different buildings <laughs> of apartments and stuff. We get there anyway, so, right? And a fucking lad answers the door, and he's got like no top on and that. And he's got like hickeys all over his neck and shit. And we're like, what the fuck? I think they've been shagging. Like, that's what they've been doing. So um, we're like laughing about that now. We'll go in the room and it's like, this flat was weird, mate. The layout was weird and the she had no furniture at all. Right. Like, it was just yeah. odd, right? And anyway, <laughs> Rodin in went, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go see our lass. I'm gonna thank her for letting us stay. We're like, ah, good idea. Rodin fucking goes out and she comes at me, just completely fucking naked. Like, <laughs> knee socks, nout, right? <laughs> Ronan's face was a picture, honestly, because Ronan was always so <laughs> awkward about that sort of shit. Yeah. So he was just like, he was like, oh my god, lads. But he was like, I uh, just want to say thank you very much for letting us stay at your house. He was like, no problem. Like, as he was saying, it, like realizing he was talking he to, like in. a completely bollock naked <laughs> bird. <laughs> so he's completely naked. Just completely naked. <laughs> we were fucking dying laughing. Honestly, he, was, he felt so awkward. We're like, go and talk to me. He's like, no, oh, fuck that. I'm not fucking. <laughs> Fuck. It the was so odd, mate. Is the uh, lad was just sat in the kit, like stood in the kitchen with his. Ah, he was chill as fuck. Biggest grin on his face. <laughs> and we were like, oh, he'd, I... he'd just been absolutely smashing it the entire night. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. And then his band comes okay. back, being like, "Oh, we've been told that we're staying here." And she's just like, "Oh yes, yeah, sleep on my fucking floor. I'm just uh, going to get this come out of this. Season, bitch. <laughs> it's a fucking hell. What we're doing here? That was a good was... gig, though. But my favorite thing of all that is why we're getting in there. Rav isn't anywhere to see, and he's the last person, so he doesn't know any of this has happened. He walks in, and the first thing he says is, You've been shagging. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> like, but just ask Crack, You've well. been shagging. It's just like, uh, Actually, mate, um, poorly timed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's is fucking that, brilliant. That other one, man, where mate, we that bloke's oh. house in Germany, man, and he had that fucking full on whole Nazi uniform. Oh, in no, his living that room. was in. That oh, was in fuck! Oh, was that Belgium, yeah? Yeah, because it was, we had to it was to Calais, like, like a mannequin like, in the corner of the room. He was like painting Warhammer characters, but he had like shitload of 80s 
like toy figures and boxes and shit and then right, okay. like, SS uniform <laughs> in the corner of the room. And it was just like, they had like what? like yeah. fucking they were setting up like ten K armies and stuff like that while we were fucking gunning the kip on the kitchen and stuff like that. It's fucking crazy and then we we're like, Oh this this guy's alright and then you saw all his like memorabilia and you're like, uh oh, oh this maybe is not weird. <laughs> this and fucking loads of Envy oh, just had a great one <clears throat> about uh, Tech Fest with Ronan. Me and Ronan slept in Ronan's car. We just put the front seats down. Rope. Was he was like, oh, I've got a great idea. I'll put like um, towels on the windows to keep the keep the light in the mo out, out in the morning. I'm like, I that's a great idea. Put them all on the outside and it rained. All of his towels are soaking wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so oh, that's funny, fucking man. brilliant. Uh, okay, was... the chasm story. That was, I was gonna say, so... what about the one with the spears, yeah. Because so I saw the photos. Swindon, we're staying at Dan Carter's house. And yeah. uh, I think it was him telling us about Dragon Soup. So right. we all went and bought some. Rab already knew what it was because he's from Glasgow. Yeah. He's Dra hard, Dra hard Dragon hard. Soup is basically an energy drink with alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but tap water yeah. in Glasgow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so we were like, all right, sick, let's get some. I bought one. I think he and my bought two. Awesome uh, so we drank it, and then on the night time, uh, we played the gig. Chasm came, and uh, so did Dylan as well. Uh, Dylan went to Jimmy Harrison's house, and Chasm insisted that he was staying with us. So we were like, <laughs> bad idea, mate. <man."> uh, <laughs> I felt fucking... dead sorry for Dan, because me and you were just crying and laughing, like, I... and you, like loud, you couldn't help it. Dan kept coming down because him his last was upstairs. He's like, R "Sorry guys, um, just, would you be able to like keep, uh, keep it down a little bit? Just you know, I've got work tomorrow. Like, oh fuck, how sorry, mate. Like, yeah, of course. And then we're just doing all that stupid shit and couldn't stop laughing. And he came down like three times or something, man. And I was like, oh, I'm really sorry, mate. And it's because me and Andy were off our lips on this fucking like loads of energy, <laughs> so much energy. <laughs> the, the, the thing is though, is like I only had one, and I felt like I've. Took a, like some canny mental drugs in my lifetime, but nothing as wild as that. Like I was yeah. just like, what the fuck is this? I was but, just uh, like proper tweaking out. So we get it Dan's, we all go to sleep. He goes to bed with his missus, and we're fucking. I was just like, I kind of got it. So it was lying there, and literally my eyes were like bulging out my head. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Right, and I, I was like, right, and then Kazim started snoring. And I was like, right. Little this skinny is fucking... guy, snores yeah. loud as fuck. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. So, uh, we already started like being little knobheads by keeping getting bollock naked and putting his ski mask on. And we're just like... <laughs> that was the photo I saw. That was the photo <laughs> I saw, yeah. yeah. So we were just like, oh, so we're like, like, mess with Kazan Wig. I was like, I wish he'd like, shut uh... the fuck up. Like, I wasn't so, gonna wake him up at all. I, I was like, I wish he'd shut the fuck up, man. He's loud as fuck. Well, so there's, I a photo, there's a photo of oh, keeping ways, like Chasm's like proper dead little world to sleep and Keepman's like right next to him with his head on his head with a ski mask where he's very pretending it's a good old and he's dead. I had like the ski mask on, I, I was a, I was spotted the spears, we're like, oh yeah, I get, I was like, I yeah, need Dan get a picture of this. Wonderful, wonderful stuff, and yeah, yeah. I had like, yeah. the masks and stuff, the spears, and so he goes there, we're like, oh, let's get this fucking... Let's get Andy get a picture of this. So I stood over Castle and me fucking boxers with my ski mask on, with a spear and the, um, with the spear oh. in my hand pointing at his face. And I was going, Andy, take a picture, take a picture. And Andy's like holding the phone, shaking and wheezing because he can't Bit. take the photo. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was trying to be quiet, but I literally couldn't. I was just like wheezing so much, yeah. the tears streaming down my face. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I can't do this. I was trying to press the button and everything, and I was just getting. <laughs> like, and Kaz the, the woke Chasm up because yeah. I was I literally sounded like a fucking. I sounded like Alaska getting real, to be honest. <laughs> and he just woke real. up. And <laughs> fucking he the woke first up thing to like someone pointing a fucking spear in his face. <laughs> yeah, with a ski mask, mask naked. <laughs> and bollock naked. <laughs> And let's be honest, noise like, like and let's get. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna it's be honest, like, keeping you know, as well. keeping not exactly as. Happened, a gun. Just slowly started pulling, <laughs> so I could sleep a bag over his face. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh, oh, already keeping's already nine foot, you know what I mean? But I mean, the thing, the thing is, like, you know, other than uh, 
So out of, out of all the members of the, your band, like Keeping's not exactly the shortest member either. So he's no. like, <laughs> he's quite the quite the intimidating figure if in a ski mask and start bollock naked and wielding yeah. a spear <laughs> in your face. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, so oh my good. god. Broke one at the end. Uh, just down, down to one. Oh my god, that was spectacular. I got view of you that. See that? <laughs> I'm in the toilet. Oh, Keep Hello. that in the video. Hello. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Is he here? Well, I mean, to, to, to be honest, um, that's say that's all the questions I had. And we, uh, we could just leave it there, to that's be sick. honest. Yeah. Um, but say, ch cheers again, guys, for co coming aboard um, and doing oh, this with me as good, well. Mate. It's been, it's been, fun. been uh, We had a good laugh, yeah. mate. Yeah, it's, it's been <laughs> fun, yeah. So uh, cheers again for joining us, guys, and hopefully see you, see you in the next video. Behind us. Yeah. All the, uh, it's been lovely, mate. All the links will be in the description of where you can find all these guys' music. It's heavy as fuck. It really is. Anyways, cheers again, guys, and see you later. Take care. Oh, well, so, well, see you later. Oh, no. See you later, dude. Bye.